doesn't hurt anybody to have a good time. And we've had a lot of good times, 20 years plus. Driving the good times this year at the 20th annual Kingston Artist Soapbox Derby was Miss Pacman. Remember that flashy gal? Then there were classic soapbox derby cars, revving up the crowd of a thousand that lined Lower Broadway. The beloved art-centric derby had enjoyed huge popularity about 10 years ago, and then it was canceled twice after the original founders divorced. This year, the baton was passed to a new couple with a fresh vision and a desire to bring it back to the days when it was a regional event drawing up to 10,000 people. The moment where I knew we'd really hit success was when I got a call from one of our volunteers to print out more registration forms because we had run out. A lot of people here in Kingston have come up and thanked us for organizing it this year and trying to bring the Derby back. That's been really nice. It's a community day. It's a day to showcase Kingston. It's a, it's a day to show that we're really uh, a community with a lot of pride and tradition, uh, which really is what distinguishes Kingston, I think, from a lot of cities okay here in the Hudson Valley. Makes us very special. Part of what made Sunday's Derby so special was the stack of love rolling down Broadway. From this vantage point, it was a little backward love, but Stone Ridge artist Bob Johnson knows that backward or forward, love is love. All part of the spirit of the day. Now this year's Derby was judged by staff from Headless Horsemen, Hayrides, and Haunted Houses in Ulster Park in such categories as Best Steampunk, Best Pop Culture, and of course, the coveted People's Choice Award. Gobbling up the People's Choice Award was the young Ulster professionals for their dot-eating, ghost-dodging Ms. Pac-Man. This one created out of wood, tubing, chicken wire, and paper mache. And it's very nostalgic. Everyone wanted to tell us about how when they used to play Pac-Man. It was a lot of fun. Of course, the young Ulster professionals had a lot more to celebrate than just arcade game adulation. There was also this wad of cash, bonus points for a masterfully played game, at the Kingston Artist Soapbox Derby. For HVNN, I'm Paula Mitchell reporting.